Julie, Julie, this is no time to pass uh, out. You have to help me. Uh, Julian, uh, Julian, Vincent is out there. He knows that you know that he's alive. That means we're both in danger. Now, Julian, you have to get up. We have to get out of here. I'm not getting up. There's no school today. <gasps> Julian, please, we have to get out. Too late now. Vincent. Hi, Mommy. Sorry to break up this family reunion, but both of you have to die. Ugh. Disgusting. Passed out. Maybe you should go to AA meetings, too. Do they have AA meetings in hell? They must. It's probably one eternal AA meeting. Vincent, you can't kill us, you know. We're your parents. That's the best reason to kill you. You know, maybe every child should kill their parents. Sure would solve the social security problem. Daddy knows I'm alive, Mommy. And you know what that means. Bang, bang. Say bye-bye, Daddy. No! No, Vincent, no! No! The heroics are pointless, Mommy. You failed me. You have to die, too. Okay, no, 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 wait! Just calm down, okay? I can fix this. Too late. Okay, just, just let me think a minute. Think fast. Okay. Okay. Well, you don't want to be an orphan again, do you? What? Well, I know that you haven't told me everything about what happened when you were growing up. But I know that you were alone. And you wouldn't want to be alone again without your parents, would you? Yeah, some parents. You threw me in the garbage. Oh, we did not. Yes, you did. All right. All right. Whatever you say. But, I mean, there aren't bad parents better than no parents at all. The minute that you see how hard that I have tried to make it up to you, and, and, and Julian would do the same. You can't know that I'm alive. All right. Okay, then I can help you on my own. I'm not utterly powerless. Oh, God, Vincent. What about Alistair? What if Alistair comes after you again? I mean, would that be just great if I, I could be there in your corner to help protect you from him, your mother? Yeah, Granddaddy Alistair's a really sick man. Oh, he is. I know. And wouldn't it be better if, if, if I were there and I were with you and I could protect you? But, you know, I, I, I couldn't do that if I were dead. Okay. You can live for the moment. But what about Daddy? Daddy can't know that I'm alive. He'll make me get rid of Baby, and Baby won't like that. Trust me. I will convince Julian that Vincent is really still dead. You better. Or you're both dead. No tricks. I'll be listening. Oh, my God. Vincent is alive. No. No, no, Julian. No, no, I saw... I saw Vincent in women's clothing. He's as alive as we are. That's it, Mommy. It's over. Hope you get a discount when you buy two graves at once. I'm telling you, he's alive. Vincent, our son is alive. Julian, just don't be ridiculous. What? Oh, you're the one who's been trying to convince me of that for months. What's wrong with you, Julian? Because even I admit that, that Vincent is dead. Why? Well, I don't understand. What's this change in attitude? But wait a minute. About ten minutes ago, you said that you've been trying to convince me of the truth for months now. And, and I don't remember what else. But I do remember seeing Vincent. Oh, my God, Eve. How could this have happened? How could we produce such a monster? Oh. No. No. <laughs> Julian, what is wrong with you? It's absurd, you know? Vincent is dead. Everyone knows that Vincent is dead. I saw him. No, Julian, don't be absurd. You, you were you were having nightmares or hallucinating. You were dreaming that Vincent is alive because you were drinking. But I, I, it wasn't that much, and I... Wait a minute. Tell me.
Tell me, Eve, tell me the truth. What was I drinking? Was it yours? I was drinking your booze, wasn't I? And it, it, it was drugged. All right, now I want you to tell me the truth. Was the booze in this house drugged? Yes. Yes, Juliana. I admit it. I thought the booze is drugged. That's why you've been having hallucinations. I've been dissolving pills into the booze because it, it gets me high quicker. Oh, my God, you've been hiding bottles all over the house again, and you... Valerie, I'm sure she didn't know. That explains so much, doesn't it? That's why you keep thinking that you're seeing Vincent, you're hallucinating, and now I had one of your hallucinations, and that's why I thought that I was making love to Vincent. Valerie transformed herself, and... Oh, God, I've got to get that image out of my mind. You and me both. Oh, I have to find Valerie and apologize. Are you going to be all right? Yes. I'm going to be all right now, Julian. So are you. You just promise me. No more booze. And no more drugs, all right? I promise. All right. It's just one catastrophe after another. Oh, it's not so bad. Remember what they tell you at your meetings, Mommy? One day at a time. Yes, one day at a time. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's Valerie's job to keep you sober, but... I think you should celebrate, Mommy. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. Oh, it is. It's the first day of the rest of your life. The only reason why the two of you aren't down in the morgue is because of your quick thinking. If Daddy didn't blame the drugs for seeing me, I'd have to kill you both. Well, if you want to give me a present, Take off that dress. I already gave you a present. A day of life. It's all up to you now. It's your job to make sure that Daddy never, ever, ever learns that I'm alive. Because you know what'll happen if he does. I'll kill you both. But don't worry. I'll kill Daddy first and make you watch. <sighs> Oh. 